Hey guys, welcome back to the creative competition, week number three. And of course the topic for week number three was dirt house slash dirt hut slash dirt building. So it's a pretty broad topic, but I did narrow it down a bit and gave them only a few resources to build with. So I only gave them a couple of wooden type tools, so like fences, doors, pressure plates. And then I just gave them wooden logs and grass and dirt to build with. So it was really limited, but the reason behind making it so limited is to see how creative people could really be. Because any of these resources that I gave them to build with, you could get within five minutes of playing Minecraft in survival. So these resources aren't hard to get, so whatever designs you see today, you could build in your survival world relatively quickly. So that's why I decided to do that, and I'm really happy with the outcome. Look at this first base I decided to start off with. I decided to show this one because it just looked a bit different compared to the other ones I saw. And I really liked the outside a lot. But the inside looked like it was kind of missing something. So I'll just walk in here. This room. I don't know, it just seemed like I was missing something on the inside. But I really liked the outside, so that's why I decided to start off with that one. Come on, let me out of here. Alrighty, so I'm going to try and show as many builds off as I can. But guys, as always, I'm so sorry I can't get to everyone. I do see everyone's build. Who enters it in the comments? Oh, this is the one I'm already at. Whoops. Let's go to this one. Yeah, so I do see everyone's build because I do mark it and it takes me hours. I literally spend most of the day before recording looking at all the builds. And it takes me a very long time, guys. And I can't do that in the recording. I have to do that off camera because otherwise the recording would be too long. But here's another nice little build that I really liked. It looks like he didn't quite get his finished as well. So I was a bit disappointed with that. But I did need to put this video out today because I have other ones planned for the, the days coming after this. As you guys know, I started my redstone tutorial series. And my Minecraft Noob to Pro series has also been going very well. So they're both out. And my single player world, of course. Seeing as you guys posted in the comments and I got a great amount of support for it. I actually decided to keep that series going, so that was good. And of course my Herobrine was returned with Goldie. And a secret episode, or secret series that is coming out soon. So anyway, that's why it was only five days this time. And in previous videos I've said you get five to seven days to build. So I'd recommend doing it all in five days. But you might have an extra two days depending on what I upload. So sadly these guys only got five and a half days. And it looks like this guy didn't finish. I don't know if he was still working on it or if he gave up. But it does look very nice. Let's give him credit. I forgot to give the last guys credit. But you'll probably see them posting in chat. Um, okay, Jake Snake 17 I'll find the guy in chat actually because I remember his name. The guy who built the last one. The stakes are high. That was him. There we go, got the credit. That's all we wanted for that first build. Now let's continue on. See, because I'm, really, I'm just jamming them all in, guys. I won't give as much, I won't talk about everything as much. But let's see if we can find at least, I don't know how many, 10? Let's try and get to 10 bases. Here's another one. This is Hell's Crescent. And yes, that means that he did not make it into the top three this week, sadly. He just didn't make it. I was considering putting him in. But. It's kind of. His build is kind of focused more on the tree. Instead of the dirt. So that's why he just didn't make it in. But it's a really good build anyway. And I really like it. He just didn't make it into the top three this week. And. When you, once you get in here. I'm not sure how he wanted to get up. Is this the way of getting up? Oh, oh, yep, okay. That was a bit noob. Let's hit this. You just got to get used to hitting it on the way up like this. And it's fairly efficient, so it is an alright way up. But that's just fly, and we'll quickly hit all these away. What the, why didn't that hit away? Let's quickly put all these back, just so we don't leave anything different to how we found it when we came. So he's got some nice little windows. And as we come up the top, he's got his little... I don't know, I guess this is the table type room. But the thing why this didn't make it into the top three 
is I just thought it was a bit of a maze in here, and it didn't really... I don't know, it just didn't make it in. This one was probably fourth on the list, but I just didn't like the inside of it. And I'm not sure what that was for. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> just a few minor things like that, I wasn't sure what was going on. So that's why he just didn't make it into the top four. I mean, the top three. So that's... Oh, yeah. Alright. So let's get out of here. Massive shout out to Hell's Crescent. Everyone knows how good of a builder he is. But I guess Dirt Houses wasn't really his thing. Oh, what was the coordinates for this one? That one. So... I've got some written down next to me, guys. Um, I don't have, like, a photographic memory. So that's why I pause for a bit here. Look over to the next screen. Bam. We found ourselves another spore. Oh, this looks good. Dirt. Oh, here we go. I really liked this one as well. Oh, this was probably tied with Hell's Crescent, actually. Just because I liked the theme so much. So the campaigns. And then he's got a little tower there. And he had a little house. And the house was, like, perfect. Like, if I was in a single player world, this is exactly what I'd set up. If I only had these resources. Because it's just really nice on the inside. It's got like a little table area. Which you could turn into enchanting room. Like you'd obviously turn into more useful stuff if you were actually living here. But it's just got some nice little rooms. That's what I really like about it. It's really like... I don't know how to say it. it makes you feel like you're home. Like this would be great if I saw someone using this in a single player world. I would think that's amazing. That's a good as design. But... They, they just didn't make it into the top three either, so sorry about that. We'll have to give this guy a shout out though, because he was really close. David's 323. So he was really close. The only thing he was lacking here was actually design elements. So he didn't use too many different techniques. He made it really like... He made it really look really well, but he just didn't have as much techniques as some of the, some of the other guys. Let's TP to the next one. Do, do, do. Negative 200. Come on. Go. Go. Here we go. Let's have a look from the outside first. Oh. Let me out the door, please. Here we go. So this was a really nice one as well. I liked how he did the doors that look like a H, if I come over here again. See that? It's not really... doesn't really stand out, but you can definitely tell the door is a H. And then he built his design around that. So I reckon that was a pretty good idea. And the inside, that, yeah, alright, that's alright. The thing I didn't like about this one is the the insides of it wasn't that full. Like this bit here is really open, and he's kind of, this is like focus points, but they kind of go straight into the wall. It looks like it's a main, meant to be a main pathway. It's more lit up than that pathway, except it goes nowhere. So that's the only criticism I have for that one. That's, oh, we better give him credit as well. Need to not forget that. I want everyone to try and impress as many people as I can showing off these builds and we'll try and learn some stuff while we're doing it. 2, 2, 4, 4, 70, oh, there we go, 70, negative 5, 5, 6. Um, here we go. Where are we? In the ground a bit. This one's actually, the guy's building more since I was last here. <laughs> well... Oh, I feel bad now. I should have extended this competition another day. Because this one's starting to really look good as well. Look at this. Got a nice little entry point here. Got three guys working on it right now. Shout out to these three. And we got what I'm hoping is he continues this pattern in each of these corners. Kind of reminds me of the PvP spawn at pvp.hadescraft.com. My PvP server. Kind of reminds me of that with a central spawn point and four corners and a big circle. And does look alright. Looks really good. And that creeper in the middle is also a good little touch. And the dirt trees. Wow, that's actually pretty good. That's the first idea I've seen about that. That looks really good actually. So a massive shout out to these guys. I've never seen dirt trees. To be perfectly honest, that tree right there looks pretty good. You could implement that in a map and call it a whole different biome if you wanted. That's a really good idea. So I'm glad we TP'd here to learn that little trick. 
But the reason why they didn't make it into the top three is, of course, it looks more like an arena or a spawn than a house. The topic was kind of meant to be like a house, like a dirt house. And I guess they kind of just turned an arena or a PvP spawn into dirt. But still, it's still a really good job and I liked it. So that's TP to the next one. What is the next one? We've got 1, 1, 7, 2, 70. And negative 1, 1, 9, 5. Off we go. Here's the next one. I liked the the front of this a bit, but I didn't really like the top. It's a bit plain, if you ask me. So that's the criticism I have for this one. And I do like the inside, the floor design, the grass and the logs. Whoa, not many people use that, so... It does look good, I do have to admit that. The grass does look good, the patterns he decided to use. It looks a lot better than some of the other little houses I saw. Let's get out of here. Give this guy some credit. And we'll TP on to the next one. Dern Tenery. Alright. Oh, I, I guarantee I didn't say that right. I'm sorry, but that's that's the best I could do. Everyone who watches me knows I'm not that good at pronouncing stuff. Come on, next spawn. Well, that is not it, but that looks nice. That's th actually this one over here. I'm pretty sure one of my friends from school entered this one, if my memory's correct. It was a while since I created this list of spawns to show off and it looks pretty nice this little design look here design look here that kind of makes sense good enough english for me it's a bit different he did change it up a bit except he didn't really go with dirt as the main theme his house is well he didn't go with dirt at all his house is wood so it's a good nice little wood house and it's a good type it's the type of thing i'd build in like a super flat survival world, if I farmed up a whole bunch of wood, that's probably the type of thing I would actually build. But for this competition, he just didn't make it in, mainly because of the idea that he didn't actually use the dirt. But he did follow all the rest of the rules, so that's why he did actually make it into the competition to get showcased. Anyway, off we go. To the winners now. We are finally at the winners, guys. So... This first one I TP do is going to be build number one. If you want to vote for this, type build one into the comments. As soon as you've seen it, hopefully. I don't want you to vote before you've seen the spawn. That won't be as useful as the other way of doing it. <laughs> Let's go. TP'd, where is it? There it is, right there, guys. So this one is build number one. If you want to vote for it in the comments below, please do it because I want the... I want the winner who deserves it the most to win. I don't want someone to win because they told their friends to vote. I want the winner who actually deserved it to win. And if all of my, all the people that watch this video actually vote, then no one has that many friends, so it'll be the deserved winner. And the reason why this guy got in is because he fit all the criteria, he used all the materials that he was allowed to, and he built a dirt-themed house, pretty much. And he used tons of techniques that other people didn't. Like, I didn't see the fence posts like that. And the trap doors like this. That's something totally new that I, he must have thought of himself. Because that looks really nice. And he decided to put dirt and buttons inside of fences. For a different pattern. That's an also a nice little thing that I didn't see many people implement. And, as you can see, he used a lot of different things. Like, it's just different. His house was different to everyone else's, and it was on a large scale, so that's why I liked it. He hasn't actually finished it. He already built a lot since I was last here. I TP'd here like 20 minutes ago, and it wasn't complete. Now it looks like he's been boss moding it up to try and get it completed in time. He hasn't done the entrance finished yet. But he's nearly finished in here, it looks like. And I really liked this, the wooden staircase. He used wood on the inside to guide people into different rooms and to have like walkways but on the outside it's still a dirt house so he fitted the theme perfectly but he made it look really nice and that's what I that's why I decided to put this guy is build number one so a shout out to Mr. Mine 2204 there he is right there let's just have a look at him on the map here oh that looks oh oh I'm wrecking his stuff I'm wrecking his stuff sorry oh is it the wrong way I don't know 
Yep. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> What's this? Hades is boss. Oh. And read. Oh, Shark is abusing his powers. I get throwing books all the time. <laughs> I do read them, but maybe not the best thing to read on camera. Some of them are a bit abusive. Or rude. <laughs> Alright. So, build number one. Don't forget to vote for it. And you got to also take into account this guy is not finished. I reckon he's going to be adding more and more to this. So you got to take that into account as well, guys. And I would highly suggest voting for this guy. Because he did a really good build. I don't know how this got that. Did I do that? No, I don't know. Anyway, on to build two. It's TP, Hades MC, 416, 70, negative 10507. Here we go. Off we go. So this is build number two, guys. Right here, build number two. If you want to vote for this build, post in the comments, build two. And the reason why this one made it in here is because of how original it was and how amazing it is. So he's got some logs there, like a login camp. And he's got, he made a sculpture of a whole person. And he used these little design elements for the ribs. The chest, slash boobies, I don't know, maybe if they poked out a bit more they could be boobies. And then we got his mouth, and he used the wood facing different directions to kind of give that impression. And up the top here is what I like the most, is this roof is totally different to anything I've ever seen. And on the inside here, he went with a really nice pattern. It seemed simple, but it worked for him, it definitely worked for him. And you can go throughout the whole body... Like, just walking through like this, and we can go further. What, we just file through his head. Now we're in his chest, I believe. And we can keep going down into more of his chest. That's where the... This is where his ribs were, right here. And we can keep going down. Then there was another layer, more stuff. We can go down into his legs. So, I'm not sure where this one actually leads. This one goes into another little side room. Down here, we can actually keep following it. And go out of his foot. Look at that, guys. We go out of the... His kneecap, actually. We just walked out of the guy's kneecap. So that's amazing. I really liked this design. It is actually amazing. That's why he made it into the top three. And I hope he gets some good votes for that. Because of his original idea. And also here, look at this. He just put a bunch of random wood there. Look at that. Random wood? No, nah, it's not random wood. He did another nice little trick that I really like. And if we line this up perfectly... Um, where's the best place to line this up? Can you see it yet, guys? About there, I think. Yep, about... There. Can you see it now? There's the H, there's the A, there's the Y, there's the, the D, there's the Z. So it spells out Hades. But as you're flying past, it actually looks like random blocks of wood. And, to be honest, it's kind of a bit of a random placement for it. I would have liked it maybe up on the roof there, like, as like a flagpole or something. Or off to the side. But it looks like he kind of ran out of room up here, but nonetheless, it's a really good idea and I liked it. So hopefully he gets some votes for that. And he also made a Connect 4 game right behind it, so... Don't, don't vote based on that, though. <laughs> Let's focus on this. There's a quick little overview as I'm falling down. Build number two, guys. Don't forget forget to vote for it if you like it. Now, we're on to the final build. And this one was actually... I don't know what to say about this one. I'm going to TP to it and then talk about it. Oh, this is it, guys. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Fly up. Let's have a look at this. Welcome. Shout out to that guy. Oh, we forgot to do a shout out to the last guy. No! Let's TP back to that real quick. Because we got to make sure... I'm pretty sure it was Speed Freak. But let's just do it anyway. Because we got to give it a shout out to the winners. Look at that. Speed Freak NL07. Massive shout out to him for his innovating idea. Hopefully some people can learn some little design elements from that. And even ways of writing signs in the weird way like he did. Anyway, let's go back to the build. That's build number two, now we're on build number three. And this was made by Chaotic Pryble. Hopefully I said that right. Let's fly up and have a look at this. 
So he built a mansion. It's got two little dirt towers at the front. Um, a Hades. I guess that's a H for Hades. But I will talk about why this build isn't my favourite in a second. We'll come around the back here. It's got a nice little like gate for the back kind of. You can't get in there, but it's a really nice. I really like it. This was probably my favourite design-wise, I guess. I liked this one the best design-wise, like purely design-wise. If we go over here, there's nothing really innovative ideas about it, but it just looks good. Like, the ideas... Oh, well, that's meant to be shut, I'm pretty sure, but you get the point. So, let's go around the back here, actually. So I can show you this bit. It's a bit plain in here, but we didn't give people... Well, I didn't give people much options to really fill it up, so I don't blame him for that. There's the back. We come up here. Go up here again. And have a look at through all these rooms. And we can come out through the top here. So, I really like this, and this was my favourite for the last few days, because he built this fairly quick, and this was my favourite. But, I did realise if you Google search Dirt House on just the normal Google image search, It'll come up with a house that looks nearly exactly the same as this. So I feel that it wasn't really an original idea. And that's why it's not my favourite. I personally like the last... I have personally like build number two the best. And... Yeah, so I like build number two the best, guys. I would have liked this the best if it didn't look so similar to the build on Google Images. So that's a little... A little bad thing about it, I guess. It's Of course it is built 100% from scratch, because you can't copy-paste from other servers on this, on my servers. This um, For those of you who don't know, this is on creative.hadescraft.com. So I know he built this all legit, so it's very good, and it does look different to the one on Google Images, but it does look very similar. So I'm going to assume that he's seen that picture previously, or he was looking at it on his second screen or something while building this. Because it looks like he was kind of inspired by it. And it kind of looks like it's a bit of a copy. So, of course it's all built exactly from scratch. So he didn't break any rules, but I just thought I'd mention that just in case, guys. And if you want to vote for this one, build number three, post it in the comments. Don't forget to. Because personally, this one does look the best. So, build number three, if you, want, if you like the looks. And my favourite was build number two. And of course build number one was pretty good as well. So I'm inter I'm really interested to see who wins this week. Maybe before you vote Google Dirt Houses in into Google Images and have a look at that before you vote. Because I wanna get a I wanna get a good winner on this one. Because there was tons of good entries and I'd like the, the winner who deserves it the most to win it. So we'll see what happens. I do have one more base to TP to, because I have to, and let's go ahead and do that right now. What have we got here? This house looks pretty good, a nice little roof design. Someone deleted these trapdoors there. Let's put them back and fall down this one. There we go. Got some nice little tables, and we got I love you so much on a sign. Who could have made this one? Pop me info, let's have a look. Gold's MC, Helpers, Benelichin one. <laughs> I don't know how to say that name. But Goldie pretty much built this from scratch, guys. She, she got this floor design, and I didn't actually see that much of this floor design. She thought of this herself. So I really liked that, it looks pretty good. And I'm really happy with this, because she's brand new to Minecraft, as you guys know. And I reckon she built a pretty good house for her first time building anything like this. And she was limited to those resources as well. If you want to vote for Goldie, <laughs> you can post Goldie in the comments. But vote for one of the other buildings as well. So either vote build 1, build 2 or build 3. And if you liked Goldie's, make sure to tell her in the comments as well. Everyone write, thanks Goldie, you're the best, or great house Goldie. Oh, Goldie's amazing. Oh, gold's for the win. Everyone write something like that in the comments. That'll be great. Let's go have a look at this house over here as well. I wanted to show that off. I didn't make it into the video, but it's close by, so we'll go have a quick look. 
Have a quick fly around. That's a nice little house. And I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Please vote, because I really want to get a really good winner this week. It was a really hard topic, because even Hell's Crescent, who was built... He won the last two competitions. He was having trouble with this one. With these limited resources, it was really hard. And I want to give a massive thank you to every single person who entered, because it would have been pretty hard to come up with some of the designs that you guys did. So that was great. And... That's it for the episode, guys. I would just like to mention one more thing. Um, some guy actually sent me an angry hate message about this series, and I was a bit kind of thrown out, but I'm just like, I, don't, I couldn't believe it. He was saying that everyone's build here sucked, and I should go into other people's servers, but you need to understand that I'm marking the people who enter my competition. I'm, I'm not marking anything to do with any other server. It's, I'm not saying that these are the best in the world, these builds. But they are great, and people are putting in heaps of effort. So that person said that I should be putting them down more, but that's just stupid. I don't agree with that at all. And I believe everyone should get congratulated on their build, because you never know how how long people have been playing. Like, Goldie's been playing for, what, like a week now? And she's building things like this? It's really good. And people that are angry like the people who've been sending me hate messages, saying everyone's build sucks, they can fuck off. <laughs> Sorry for swearing, but anyway, guys, hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to chuck the video a like if you enjoyed the series, and I'll see you later.